All right, I'm back in Castelli City. And I already played through this little portion right here of the game with this uh, clown dude, or the uh, harlequin, who gives a bike. And then I paused it to try to set it to, uh, like, the quick spot, or whatever the hell it's called. And I went to this, and then I chose the third option, and then the bike just disappeared. So, to anybody playing the Japanese game, don't choose the third option, because I don't, I don't even know what that is. Maybe that's like the Unova Link feature, or I have no clue. I would doubt it would be like, drop it, but maybe it is. Either way, choose the second option. That's what sets it to uh, the little, you know, quick thing. So, let's uh, talk to some people, I guess. It's kind of lame that the bike music is exactly the same. Although, the bike music was pretty awesome in the first game, so... <clears throat> that should be like a little survey place. Yeah, I wonder if any of these buildings are different. Because it, it seems to me as if uh, it's kind of setting itself up for failure a little bit. As far as, you know, I've been playing through the first roughly hour and a half now, and it's been, you know, completely new areas. And now I'm going to Castelia City, and it's going to be like an old area with all the same buildings and stuff like that. So, who knows? Let's see if there's someone. Oh, there's a new boat. Of course, they're, like, working on it or whatever. I can't go down that way. So... Yeah, at least it's not completely the same. Because there wasn't anybody giving out a, uh... Whatever the hell it is. A, uh, elemental stone. I wonder what this is. I was just about to say, there has to be somebody giving out some item around here. So, I think this is the final dock. I think there's only four docks. Maybe there's five, though. I'm assuming that guy won't take me anywhere, but who the hell knows? Wow, okay. <clears throat> Maybe this takes me to, like, Anvil Town or something. So I'm pretty sure that's going to be in this game as well. Oh, this is, like, Liberty Garden, or whatever. wonder if there's going to be anybody to battle. An old lady. This is where Victini used to be, but I highly doubt there will randomly be a Victini again. Alright, well, this is kind of... Like, I don't know why the hell this is here, to be honest. I'm not getting any items, I'm not... It doesn't seem like I'm progressing the story at all, so... It's kind of odd, but... Whatever. I guess let's leave. I could buy some stuff. Maybe there's something in any of these trash cans. Nope. Alright, well, that was, uh, pretty boring, but, oh well. So, yeah, I think that's all of the docks. And I guess... Yeah, actually, I wonder if I can go to, uh... Pinwheel Forest. Or if this person got up. Oh, you're gonna block me. That's kind of lame that they just have, like, people standing in front of gates and stuff. That's their form of, like, preventing you from going places. 
It's kind of uninspired, but oh well. So... See how many floors there are. Twenty two. Imagine a game where you could actually go to every single floor. That would be pretty crazy. Ooh, cool, an item. Yeah, I forget. I think this is the uh, Game Freak area. Oh, snap, Clefairy. Let's see here. Use some razor shell. Oh, snap. He's in love. Let's see what kind of uh, man my Dwat is. See if it'll actually hit the one he loves. Nope. Oh, sucks. Oh, never mind. There we go. And I didn't even take any damage. Do I get something cool? Nope. Can I fight you? Oh, yeah. Oh, snap. That looks like Game Freak Marimoto or something. And that's really not good for me. So I'm going to switch out for Ryoru. Actually, I guess I could have even, even done Magby. Although I forget what level it is. And I didn't check. So... Damn. I think that's Force Bomb, and it seems to be pretty damn good, considering it does a lot of damage with Riolu's uh, physical attack and the stab. Cool. Um, I have no clue who he's sending out, and Magby is only level 10, so... And that would have been an absolutely terrible choice anyway, so. Wow. I think that's like three for three as far as like paralyzing things. So, I'm assuming he's going to send out the fire version now, uh, Panseer, considering he had the other two. It would make sense. Makes sense. Sweet. So, I should be able to uh, take him out pretty easily. And it looks like I learned Fury Cutter now. So... I think I'll go ahead and get rid of... I think that's Focus Energy. Um... Although, eh, 
I don't really need Fury Cutter, so screw it. I think I'd rather have Focus Energy. Even though I already forget the specifics of Focus Energy, but I forget what stat it actually raises. But let's uh, go ahead and heal up here. Because I'm just assuming that this third member at the table will also fight. Nope. Although maybe you can only fight two of them or something. Well, I think that's it for this level. Da 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 yeah, right now I'm just realizing that Black 2 and White 2 are just, like, the successors to Black and White. Because up until this point, it, it, you know, they've seemed like completely new games. But, still pretty fun. I think this is the dude that gives you something if you've seen a certain number of Pokemon, or at least that's where he was in the first game. The guy with the Pikachu. Cool. It looks like, uh, 44. TM44, let me check to see what that is. It looks like it is rest, which doesn't really do much for me just yet, but I'm sure there will be some Pokemon that can learn it later on that it'll actually be, uh, be beneficial to. So let's go back down, and I think that's it for this little alleyway or street. So, let's try to go to the center. See if there's anything cool. Go ahead and get off the bike, because it moves a little bit too fast for, like, using index fingers. What the hell was that? Totally made a noise. Hmm. Well, let's go down road number two. This is probably going to be a pretty long video, considering it's Castellia City. There's a little icicle place. Which looks like I can't even talk. Oh, there we go. Sure. It's pretty weird. Okay. That's really odd. Wouldn't let me move for a while there. And I think this is the art exhibit place. Yep. This is a place in the first games that had some dude that it was a clown that asked for a certain type of Pokemon. So maybe that's that guy now. Maybe he became a businessman. <laughs> and he, he asked for something, but I don't know what he was asking for, unfortunately. So, let's see, what is this place? Never mind, I can't speak Japanese. Well, it doesn't look like it. Oh, there we go. Ooh, a janitor. Or a custodian. Oh yeah, this is the uh, Battle Factory, I think.
it looks like that could be an elemental stone person. There were three options, so I guess let's see if I have an elemental stone now. Doesn't look like it. There's the little ice cream cone that I bought. Uh, I think it would be in here. Oh, that's the, uh, it used to be in Nacreen City, where they asked you if you had a Snivy or a Oshawott or a Tepig, and it's the Miracle Seed or Mystic Water or the, uh, I forget what the fire one is. But anyway, I think it, like, increases, uh, grass, fire, or water moves in some way, shape, or form, so... That kind of sucks that I didn't get a worthwhile item there, but oh well. So, I'm assuming I'm going to get some battles in here. And maybe if it's like the first black and white, I will get an experience share at the end. Awesome. Da -da 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 -da. So I think Duat's uh, special attack is better than his physical, so I should probably stick to using Water Gun instead of uh, Razor Shell. Although Razor Shell uh, totally does something awesome, like uh, decreases defense or something, so let me try to get some little smudge off there. Cool, you gave me something. Oh snap, is this going to be a double battle now? Not. That sucks. I don't know why I used razor razor shell there, but oh well. Wow, he does so much damage. Granted, I do have like a three damage or a three level advantage, but it's kind of weird that that wasn't a double battle. like all the business people are uh, giving out items. And let's heal up real quick. I think right there. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. They're probably giving out crazy balls. They're giving me their balls. There we go. Nice and healed up. You know what? I'm feeling frisky. Let's just try to take him out. 
Wow. That was a bad decision. In that case, um, yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's send out a little bait Pokemon to take some damage. Did it really just use Water Sport? Um, I just really want Magby to come in and do some damage, but without taking damage, but oh well. Okay, it looks like that probably changed my, uh, my ability or something. I don't know, though. Wow, that did nothing. <laughs> Holy crap. Wow, okay, so that's going to be a waste of time. I will switch into Riolu. And hopefully I can do a lot of damage. That's yeah, pretty decent. Although it didn't paralyze. Are you kidding me? Wow, this Badoo is going to wreck me. <laughs> Please paralyze it. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, that's like poison point or something. Wow. That's not good. Um... I guess I'll send out... The Pat Rat. That's crazy that this Badoo is just straight wrecking me. I believe I should have a, like an antidote, hopefully. There we go, finally that works. I was having such a fucking terrible time with it at like, uh, where it was like Roxy's Gym or something like that. Um, yeah. Now hopefully I can get another heal off. Maybe not though. This should be not very effective. And cool. Although it's going to be at full health. That's so dumb. So yeah. Let me check out Magby's moves. Alright, it looks like he has a poison move that actually does damage, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, um, it actually should be super effective, if I'm not being an, idi an idiot. There we go. Oh wow, it's not. But hopefully it poisons it? No? Okay. Although maybe I should be using its fire type move in hopes that it will burn it. Yeah, let's go with that. If it even survives this. Awesome. That'll help so much. Now anything that it absorbs, at least like probably half of it will go away through the burn. Cool. Awesome.
so I may actually uh, beat this. Damn. And if he wasn't paralyzed, I might actually have a fighting chance. And I guess technically I do have paralyzed heal. So. I think he should be able to take one more hit from Absorb. Awesome. In that case, let's uh, go ahead and heal him up, and he might be able to take out the Dew by himself now that it's burned. Granted, he doesn't get any critical hits. Because, actually, I think the burn is taking a little bit more than what he is getting uh, back with Absorb. So, this may happen, and Magby may uh, may gain a level here. Probably two, maybe. This is just taking forever, though. sucks. Although that's a little bit more damage that isn't going to be absorbed, so that's fine with me. And I might as well just uh, might as well just heal him up. And use Ember in probably another turn or so. Is that it? Awesome. Although I think, uh, yeah, other Pokemon are going to get some of the experience, so that sucks. Wow. And Magby barely got any, unfortunately. Let's see. Awesome. Now I think I will go ahead and heal up before going to the uh, top floor. Give me your spiel. Or not. Awesome. Hopefully I'll get a sweet little medal that I have no clue is what for. Awesome, I got another one. With little arrows on it. And another one. And another one. <laughs> and another one. Just is it just like in a loop or something? And another one. And another one with a heart. Is this like Pokemon's uh attempt at like achievements or something? Alright, let's go to the top floor.
Let's see what this guy has. Ooh, an Eevee. And I think you can actually catch wild Eevees in this game, which is really, really cool. So let's go ahead and water gun. Pretty sure that was tail whip. Nah, that's not too bad. I'll still be able to take him out before he gets to me. There we go. And I think I will switch out to Riolu regardless. And actually, I probably should have picked up some potions or something. Oh, cool. That's a great matchup for me. Awesome. Now I wonder if I have to fight the janitor. No? Uh... Can I steal anything from your desk? No? Well, that's weird. They're not actually, like, giving anything to me. Oh, well. At least I got a bunch of experience. Let's see what floors were there. Oh, 47 and 55. Go ahead and heal up again before I really get to doing much of anything. And I'm assuming I should be able to just go battle Berg, but I might as well finish up whatever else is in Castellia City. And while I'm at the Pokemon Center, I might as well pick up some potions, maybe a super potion or two. Pick, uh, eh, let's do five of them. They're good for, like, actually in battle. Being able to, uh, just use one single turn. As opposed to using a potion and then having to have another Pokemon take damage to heal another one, you just heal pretty much all of your damage. So anyway, let's talk to these dudes. Sometimes Pokemon Center people give you things, but sure, I don't know what you're asking though. Okay, that's cool. So, um, I forget if I've been here. Pretty sure I have. Yep. That is the little art museum and the uh, bicycle stand or whatever it's called. Like the vanilla cone stand. Oh snap! It's the guy that gives out flash. Wow, this is really hard while recording to look at like the dimensions. All right, this is where you can switch up uh, Meloetta's form, I believe. And there's probably not much of anything else to do here, unfortunately. Although I think you can buy, like, lemonade or something like that. Or get a lemonade. There's these creepy dudes again. It's really weird. Can't do anything. Okay, whatever. You guys can just keep on whispering away. And this is where the actual gym is. This is where you fight uh, Team Plasma in the first game. 
and other than that, it was like totally empty. So it's kind of cool seeing smashable people in here. Sure. Oh, I think this is the uh, name Raider. Let's just double check and make sure. I haven't named this uh, Pat Rat. So, yep. I will name him Patty. Even though, realistically, I'm probably not ever going to use him. So I'm only going to focus on Pokemon that aren't in the original black and white in this playthrough. Oh. Alright, this is looking pretty fancy. What the hell? Oh. Maybe this is the person that he, I forget. Teaches you what each gym badge does? I don't know. I should probably brush up a little bit on Japanese sometime. It'll probably come in handy for this type of stuff. So, nothing there, as far as items or anything. Let's go to floor three, check out what's there. This reminds me of uh, Bill. Although, yeah, never mind, it's totally the, uh, dream world person from the first game. And she probably just tells you a little bit about, you know, how things work. Yep. And, oh uh, man, I forget her name, but it's that chick that you meet in the dream yard. Man, I'm going to find out what her name is while also trying to play. So yeah, this is just the uh, new sea gear area, I guess. Let's go back to floor one. And this should be the gym. Yep. So, I think I will... Actually, I guess I'll talk to this dude. He'll probably give me something. What is that chick's name? It is... Fennel. That's what it is. Fennel. Oh, snap. It's Iris. So I guess it's a good thing I actually talked to that dude. Alright, well, it looks like maybe I'll have to go back to the docks just like, uh, like my one. But, this video is almost 40 minutes long, so I'm going to call it quits right now. See you guys later.